Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zerscher and today I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done before, which is someone on social media contacted me and said they had a stitch that they couldn't figure out how to do or what it even was. And they described it as a drizzle stitch, but it looked like a double cast on stitch, but as a drizzle. So I said, I've never heard of that, but I'm going to take up the challenge and give it a shot. And that's what I've done. I don't know the name of this stitch. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it, but she described it to me. She said she'd seen it on Pinterest. So if someone out there knows what the name of this stitch is, you must tell me. In the meantime, I'm going to call it a double cast on drizzle stitch because that's what it is. I tried it in a couple of different weights. It's a lot of fun. And how, ex how exciting is it to discover a brand new stitch that I never knew existed and figure out how to make it. So I'm very pleased with the whole thing. And I hope you'll enjoy watching it and giving it a try and tell me how it goes for you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you click on the subscribe button, a little bell should show up to the right of the subscribe button and you click on that, you'll get an email notification. Some people are saying they don't see the bell. I'm not sure. I love hearing from you, so leave me any comments or questions you might have in the comment section below and let's get stitching. The first thing you need to do is you need to thread. I'm using a number five weight variegated eleganza. This is one of my favorite colorways that Sue has from Sue Spargo. It's EZM105. Is that the most luscious colors? Ugh. Okay, so you need to, instead of a double cast on where you, strand, you thread one strand, you're gonna do two strands and thread them through. I'm using a large number 15 Milners. I couldn't get it through the number one Milners. And since I'm doing it as a drizzle, I need to be able to thread it easily. So I'm going to come up. I'm going to make these sort of little weird things sticking out of my, this is my Portuguese knotted stem stitch, which I just did a video on. I'm going to come up and then just like a drizzle, I'm going to go back down with my needle and it helps if you have a drizzle pad or something. I'm using a very large woolen ironing mat, but I also have a drizzle pad and I use that. It's just a really nice little four inch square and that's perfect also. I unthread my needle. I'm going to take a thread on either side. And just like a drizzle, I'm now going to take my two lengths and I'm going to thread them back through my needle here. It's a little tricky to pull this through because I'm pulling through four strands. I need to use my needle nose and I have to pull really hard. I'm going to pull each thread and there it is. How cool is that? Thank you, Kathy, because I would not have thought to do this. And is that just the coolest little thing or what? You can, of course, make it larger. You can use a thinner thread, an eight weight. And I'm going to experiment with a couple of different threads. It's a lot of fun. And now I'm going to do it in a number eight weight and see what that's like. I'm using one size up on the Milner's, so this is actually my number one Milner's. I'm going to come up, and then I'm going to go right back down, just like I would a, a drizzle stitch. I put my needle down into the center, and now I'm going to do just as I would a cast on. I take my two threads together, and I'm going to thread my needle, which can be a little tricky. Now I'm going to pull my needle out from my pad, where I'd secured it, and using a pair of jeweler's needle nose pliers, I have to pull through all those strands. Double cast on drizzle. And because I just am so thrilled with this stitch, I'm going to do it one last time in the metallic. This is Sue Spargo's dazzle thread right here. And just like a drizzle, I'm going to anchor my needle. Now I'm going to do my regular cast on. 
done seven on either side. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my thread lengths together. I'm going to thread my needle, which can be a little tricky. I'm making this kind of challenging. If you have Thread Heaven or some kind of beeswax, that's going to help. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to pull this through, and this is where it gets very, very hard. And now I'm going to pull that down, and there's my little double cast on drizzle. I hope you found this helpful. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. If once you subscribe, you should see a little bell um, to the right of the subscribe button and you click on that, you'll get an email notification. I love hearing from you. So give me, give me any comments you have, questions, and don't forget to look at the description section because that's where I put any links or things to things like the drizzle pad I'll put links in the description section for you thanks so much for watching and until next time here's to stitching together